Oh, I might actually play baseball today. I mean, yeah. Wait a minute. Where's my where's my baseball? Or I don't even have a baseball actually. Which honestly, yeah. Which I'm um, speaking of a baseball today, guys. I am gonna be doing my re-review on the Sandlot. So yeah. So yeah, I've like I, I was. I'm thinking about um re-reviewing this movie for like quite a while actually. Yeah, this is the sequel review to my original review on the Sandlot, which I did on on July 1st of um 2021, and now today on um Tuesday um July 9th of this year, I am doing my re-review, aka my sequel review on the Sandlot. So yeah, which. Which is um, the sequel review to my original review I did on The Sandlot, which was three years ago, actually. So, yeah. Which I am going to go right over here and say cue the intro, actually. So, yeah. Which, yeah. Which I've always wanted to re-review this movie, which um, I did. Yeah. This was, also, this was one of the um, reviews that I was planning for in um, 2024, actually. Which is um, this movie, the, the Sandlot. So, yeah. So yeah, guys, so I am going to go right over here and actually say, cue the intro, and then, yeah, then the review starts, so yeah, so, so yeah, guys, so I am going to go right over here right now, so yeah, guys, so, so yeah, I am going to do it right now, so yeah. Cue the intro. guys this is it and today i'm going to be doing my review on this movie right now today so yeah this was one of the reviews that i actually planned this year so yeah so without further ado i am going to be reviewing this movie right now today actually so yeah which um yeah which i am going to actually right now actually so yeah which i did review this movie on july i did review i did do my original review on this movie on July 1st of um, 2021, and now on um, Tuesday, um, July 9th of this year of 2024, I am re-reviewing re this movie right now, today, actually. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get this review started. So, yeah, which, yeah, which I am going to be um, re-reviewing, I am going to be re-reviewing this movie right now. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, Let's get started. So yeah. Hey guys, this is Evans Disney's animation film fanatic Tone 24 here on today. Guess what guy? And today, guess what guys? And today I'm gonna be doing my re-review on the Sandlot. Came in the year of 1993. So yeah, guys. So I am going to read this plot on the internet. So yeah, guys. So basically what the plot's about when Scotty um moves into a new neighborhood, he manages to make a make friends with a group of um kids who um who play baseball at, at the Sandlot, and also together they, um, they go on a series of, of funny and touching adventures, and also, oh, um, the boys run into trouble when, um, brawls, uh, when small brawls of a ball, or from, from Speed Dad, that, um, he, that gets hit, oh, hit over, hit over, I meant hit over, offense so yeah so that's basically so that's basically i mean i meant to say that's basically what the plot's about about this movie so yeah so i do remember that this movie actually did came out on um april 7th of 1993 and also yeah and and also this movie actually had like a seven million dollar budget which is actually pretty low actually which yeah also i am going to read the production of the movie which i Um, yeah, which, um, yeah, which I know that, um, even though I, I'll, which I can't find, um, the production movie, so yeah, but also, yeah, this movie also tells the story of, 
a group of young um, baseball players during the, the summer of um, 1962, actually, but also, yeah. And even though this movie, this movie did gross, like, um, um, $44 million worldwide, and also, the and has since um, gross day, um, and also, um, fun fact, also, the Sandlot actually became a cult film, actually. It actually became a cult classic, actually. So, yeah. Which, yeah. Which I know that in um, 1998, um, it, Michael Perner sued, sued Torn Century Fox and the producers for for definition. Perner uh, is a, um, a, um, Childhood um classmate of um of um David Mickey Evans the the director of of the Sandlot claimed that that um Michael Squints um um premises of um generously um and caused um him um shame and humiliation and also the trial court um. The trial court in favor of the filmmakers and um finding in finding was um harmed and didn't um was in admitted in by the um by the California Court of Appeal also after the initial agreement review c review case in nineteen ninety eight the the Supreme um Court of um of um, California, um, reserved its, um, destination and dismissing the review and also, um, and, um, resenting in the, um, the Court of Appeals opinion in the, um, favor of 20th Century Fox, so, yeah. Even though, also, fun fact, the DVD sales for this movie, are, even though this, this movie grossed, um, Four hundred thousand dollars in its opening week, and in third, and also a further um thirty thirty two thousand in ticket sales. Actually, figure goes into the also figures um going also figures f world um w f figures for worldwide um VHS and um DVD sales were established to be um. He at um seventy six thousand dollars since the since the release on um VHS and DVD, the film has became also a cult favorite actually. Which yeah, this movie has became a cult favorite actually. Which yeah, even though in nineteen ninety three the on um, the Sandlot was released, the also was became the first um home video, also. Also, fun fact. Also, um, the Sandlot became the first, um, the the first to come out on home media with a slipcase, and also along with a laser disc widescreen, as but later became a clamshell, a clamshell case in um nineteen ninety four, and also, oh, um, on um January night on January twenty ninth of John of John two. The DVD went under on um, the Fox, the Fox Family um, feature banner in widescreen um, slide B and also full screen slide A and also the um, the um, the 2013 um, wreckage um, DVD um, wreckage um, DVD is is widescreen only and also the, the film was was released on um on Blu-ray for the, the first time in March of um twenty thirteen to celebrate the movies on um, movies twentieth anniversary. The film was re released on um and also the movie was also re released East um the the movie the film also had a re release on um on Blu ray um and um digital H D on um on March twenty seventh of on the of two thousand eight, as a part of the film's twenty fifth anniversary. So yeah, and also yeah, which 
I know this, um, and also, um, fun fact, guys, I know this movie, The Sandlot, also did celebrate its, um, 30th anniversary last year in, um, in, in 2023, actually, which was the end, which I know this movie is actually now, um, which I know this movie, The Sandlot, is now, um, 31 years old, actually, so yeah, which I know this movie, um, The Sandlot's gonna be also celebrating its 35th anniversary, um, in 2028 actually so yeah but also yeah and also even though this movie fun fact guys this movie also is set in um um sam so also fun fact guys um this movie is also is actually set in san um for san Fergo, um um valley in um los angeles california and also filming locations between Filming, loca filming locations were Midville, Midville, um, Salt, um, Salt Lake, um, Salt Lake, um, City, and also Oregon, and also Utah as well. Yeah, so yeah, and also yeah, I mean, yeah, this is a um, this and also got yeah, this is this is a sports movie actually. So yeah. And yeah, so yeah, guys. So, what do I think of this movie? I have to say, this is definitely a fantastic um sports movie. Yeah, this is definitely a classic sports movie as well. Which honestly, yeah. And also, yeah, this movie has a very talented cast, and including James Earl Jones is actually in this movie, which um, James Earl Jones actually does play um, Mr. Murray, who actually does play, who who does play. Mr. Mooney, which, um, which he actually does play that character, actually. And also, fun fact, he actually was the voice of Darth Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy, even though he did voice some Darth Vader in Rogue One as well, which honestly, yeah. And also, a year later, he would also voice, um, Mufasa in The Lion King, which I also thought he was really fantastic in that movie as well. And I also thought he was really fantastic in this movie as well. Oh, um, The Sandlot, actually, which honestly, yeah, I mean, yeah, um, James O. Jones was actually, is actually in this movie as well, and also, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, even, yeah, I definitely thought, um, Tom Green as um, Scott was, was also fantastic in the movie as well, uh, and also, yeah, and also, um, David, um, Mickey, um, and also David Mickey, um, David Mickey Evans played adult um Scott Smalls, which also which um he was actually the narrator of this movie, which yeah, and I also forgot to mention that who directed this movie. Like this movie is direct. This movie is actually directed by by David Mickey Evans, which um who who all who actually is. His um films, his films led to focus on children and challenges in childhood, which um he um, which um Evans did direct and co-write um the same. <clears throat> also um, uh, as a baseball fan um, Evans um directed and co-wrote the same lot, which yeah he which he did actually so yeah. And he would also direct the sequel as well, even though that's a, even though that's a director video movie, but yeah. And also, um, he would direct, um, he would also direct the fir first kid actually, as well, which yeah. Which, yeah, which, um, I know he also directed this movie as well, The Sandlot, which I thought, which I definitely thought he did a fantastic job directing this movie, so yeah, and also, yeah, and also, and also, let's, um, also talk about the other cast in this movie, like, like, um, Mark Verver as, um, Benjamin, as Benjamin Franklin, Benny Rodriguez, which, which, he was also fantastic in this movie as well. And also, 
Um, Patrick Brunner as um, Hamilton Porter was also great in the movie as well. And also, um, Kennedy, um, Leopard, Lepin, and was, was great as, um, what was, was great as, um, what, as Michael, um, Quince and Pernunas, which some is pronounced as last name, but it's okay. It, he was great in the movie as well, so yeah. And also, um, yeah. Even the rest of the cast of this movie is absolutely phenomenal in this film, so yeah. But yeah, which yeah, the rest of the cast of this movie is just definitely fantastic, so yeah. Yeah, there is some scenes in this movie as well. There, there is scenes. I forgot to mention, guys. There, there's also, hmm, um, um, iconic quotes in this movie, like um, "You play ball like a girl." That line was actually pretty funny, actually. So yeah, and even um, Big Chief is even though there there is scenes in this movie like Big Chief and also, um. Ham Homer and also, um, catch, catch of dad and also yeah. And also, um, catapult and also, and also, yeah, I like. And also, um, lost ball getting into trouble and also yeah, and even like even the full scene actually so yeah. And even game night and yeah. Even Small's first catch, which which is yeah. Yeah there is um yeah also also this movie um this is a um baseball movie as well, which yeah. Which I know there there is um all um scenes in this movie as well like um poor also uh, other scenes like um poor porter results and also um and also there is also another scene in this movie that wasn't my ball actually which yeah. And also, there's also another memorable line, um, Ham, you're an idiot, actually. And also, yeah. And also, um, the carnival scene, the carnival scene. I mean, the car, I meant to say the carnival scene, actually. Which is also a really good scene as well. And even the ending of this movie was also really memorable as well, which, yeah. And yeah, like... Yeah, like, like, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, in, even, um, small, even also the scene where, um, small hits Homer, actually, and, and even the scene forever, which, yeah, which were also really good scenes in this movie as well, and also, yeah, like, like, um, and even, yeah, like, there is a lot of iconic scenes in this movie, and yeah, yeah, there is, um, a lot of, um, iconic scenes in the Sandlot, actually, which, yeah, which, yeah, I know there is a lot of iconic scenes, um, in this movie as well, which, yeah, and also, yeah, like, and even, um, even the scene... And also, even the scene in, um, yeah, like, and also even the scene, um, which I can't, um, think of, um, which I honestly can't think of it. And all those scenes also memorable. Which, and even oh um oh yeah, and also this scene 
called um jaw and um fair rise don't mix which yeah and, and also benny gets chased by beast i mean i mean benny j gets um chased by the beast actually which yeah and yeah i mean yeah there is a lot of iconic scenes in this movie so yeah which and honestly yeah and also um fun fact the the producer of this movie is um um Diane Del um Bell D um Lay um for for and also um and also William S um Gilmore which um they did really fantastic um producing this movie so yeah which which yeah I definitely think they did really fantastic also yeah producing this movie which I definitely think. They did absolutely phenomenal and very fantastic at the exact same time for producing this movie as well. Which honestly, yeah, I definitely think they did absolutely phenomenal with this movie. So yeah, but but yeah, which um yeah, I mean yeah, they did fantastic um producing this movie. So yeah, so now let's talk about the um the um. The music and the score of this movie, which is actually composed by, which is actually composed by David Newman, which, who also um, composed, who also did compose Anastasia, and also did, and he also did compose um, the um, 2021 adaptation of West Side Story, which honestly, yeah, which, to be honest, I thought his score of this movie. And he also composed other films, like he also composed um Galaxy Quest as well. Oh, and also he composed um Rushstone. I mean um Runstone and also the I mean the Runstone and also my, the Mighty Ducks and also yeah. But honestly, I find his score of this movie is definitely very fan is really fantastic and really phenomenal at the exact same time. It definitely fits that sports theme in that score very well in this movie i mean yeah it's definitely a very fantastic score like honestly Derek newman's score of this movie is definitely fantastic and honestly it still holds up to this day 31 years later it still is absolutely phenomenal and very fantastic at the exact same time i mean yeah i mean enough said i mean his score of this movie is honestly really phenomenal actually like um like his score is just fantastic actually and yeah, like, like his score, just it's just really fantastic. I mean, yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah, his um score was just definitely fantastic in this movie. So yeah. And now, let's talk about the um the production design of this movie, which also still holds up, to, which honestly does still hold up to this day. A um forty one years later, it still looks absolutely phenomenal and very fantastic at the exact same time. I mean, yeah. And also, yeah, like, um, even though this movie was also shot on location, actually, which definitely does look fantastic and really phenomenal at the exact same time, actually. So, yeah. And also, yeah, like, like, yeah, like, even, th yeah, the production design of this movie, it still looks really fantastic and really phenomenal at the exact same time. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, even, I do like, like, how the baseball field looks in this movie, which definitely does look really fantastic. So, yeah. So yeah guys, so overall guys, I have nothing else to say about this movie The Sandlot. So yeah guys, so yeah, I mean I have nothing else to say. It. So yeah. So yeah guys, so if you haven't seen The Sandlot, where you've been, I recommend it. So yeah, it is streaming on Disney Plus. So yeah guys, so I am gonna give the Sandlot a 10 out of 10 spectacular. So, yeah, guys, what do you think of my rear view on The Sandlot? So, yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and make sure to like this video. So, yeah, so stay tuned for my movie review on Arthur, which I'm going to be reviewing this Friday on July 12th of this year, so stay tuned for that. And also, um, and also stay tuned for my, um, even though I have, um, moved, um, my my short review up actually which which won't be on um which is not going to be on july 16th as planned 
but now it's going to be on Monday, a um Monday, July fifteenth on my channel because I had to go. I have to go on vacation actually. So yeah, and also, which will be a few days actually. So yeah, and also for next Friday, the the, the Friday after that, on on Friday, July nineteenth, I am going to be reviewing um Phineas and Ferb the movie Across the Second across the second dimension so yeah on on friday july 19th for this series yeah so stay tuned for those or stay tuned for those reviews so yeah so before i go i am gonna say this right now i'm gonna sing for you guys so yeah who's your favorite fearless hero who's your favorite fearless hero we don't talk about bruno no 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 we don't talk about bruno but it was our wedding day, it was our wedding day, we're getting ready, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky, not just a loud in the sky, Bruno walks in with a mischievous grin, thunder, you're telling the story, or am I, a song going wrong, Bruno says it looks like rain, I need telephone for who you doing, so he floods my brain, I'm the corporal, I'm married in a hurricane, the job that stay by anyway. We don't talk about Bruno, no, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I'd be attend. Is it my destiny to live and bar a life of propriety? I'm just Ken. Anywhere else I see is a friend. When it take for her to see the man be highlighted and fight for me, remember me, though I have to say goodbye, remember me, see the light with the sky, meet the sea, it calls me, and no one knows before it goes, if the wind in my sail on the sea stays behind me, one day I'll know how far I'll go. Oh. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in my next review. So, yeah, so I'll see you guys later, and bye.